What's up, everybody? Matt with the Alaska Music Show here, and today we're going to talk about picks. We're going to talk about the different types of picks, the different applications for those picks, some things to avoid, and some of my personal favorites. So here we go. So the first thing to consider when we're talking about guitar picks is that it actually has a huge effect on the overall sound of your guitar. Um, I'm a big fan of thinking about the, the source of the sound. So we th talk about pedals and, and cables and amps and compressors and microphones and all these different things, but at the very source of all of it is a guitar pick making contact with your string. So if you're bad from that point on, everything else is just gonna amplify that bad sound. So here's a couple of the things that I like to think about with guitar picks. And the first is obviously gonna be thickness. How thick the guitar pick is has a huge impact on not only how it sounds, but how it feels in your hand and the sort of music you might want to play with it. So here's a few guitar picks that I have. Um, we're going to kind of go down the line here. Um, and we're going to start with a pretty thin pick. This is actually, by some standards, not super crazy thin. But um, this is a Dunlop Tortex. What is this? A 0.6 millimeter? Um, this is a, uh, about as thin of a pick as I would ever consider using personally. Some people like really thin picks. I don't. They have a slappy sound on the guitar. They don't have any press to them. You can't get tone out. They're for like really washy strumming. Maybe for total beginners who are having trouble with the rigidity of the pick against the string, they might be a nice uh, starter pick. But um, I really don't prefer them and I don't know many good guitar players who do. Maybe, probably not. I won't use this pick, but I always have them around. Let's just put it that way. That's just me. Some folks might like them, but you're not going to pick out a loud, fast solo with a pick like this. It's just not going to happen. There's not enough backbone to it. So this is a 0.6 millimeter Tortex. Um, the next, in terms of thickness up the grade, is the the yellow one here, uh, the Dunlop Tortex. This is a 0.73. This one actually starts to get into a useful realm when it comes to thickness. I know plenty of guitar players who use these picks. Um, again, I personally don't use them often, but I do use them for certain strumming things, particularly on acoustic 12 strings. Because on 12 strings, you want a little bit more forgiveness from the pick so that you're not um, accidentally striking just one of the two doubled strings on 12s. But that's kind of unique. Um, also, just for a really light strumming acoustic sound, Not so bad. I think they sound okay. It's a good pick, um, but we're we're gonna get into the the money range here in just a second. So up next is my personal favorite guitar pick, the Dunlop 0.88. This is the pick that I have to have. If I go to a gig and I don't have this pick, I might as well just cancel the gig. I'm just kidding. But really though, these are um, the absolute. Uh, best guitar pick for me. It's the jack of all trades. There's other guitar picks that we're going to get into for other applications that um, are valid for sure. But this, if I'm going to have one guitar pick forever, this is the one. It is the Dunlop 0.88 Tortex pick. Um, and it's as you get into the 0.88 uh, thickness, all of a sudden you get enough backbone to start playing faster lines with a good bit of of bite to the pick so you can actually push through the strings and get the, the guitar to project. But it's not so heavy that it feels clunky on the strings or anything like that. It's much more forgiving than say like a, a 1.5 or one of these big glass shard picks that we'll talk about in a second. I can get tons of tone out of the guitar and I can run a fast run. kind of thing. But I can also strum comfortably. Um, so, okay. Now, while we're talking about these, um, so thickness-wise, 0.88 is kind of what I find to be the sweet spot. Um, but not only is the thickness really important, but this type of pick, um, there's something special about the material that it's made out of. Not all picks are created equal. You have these fender picks that see tons of people use just because they're the ones that show up in the guitar store or are in your case or whatever. Um, and if you notice when holding them, I'm going to tell you right now, um, this one for sure is flimsier at, at a medium thickness than this one is. So this one might be closer to a heavy 
But um, the edges of the pick, first of all, are like kind of sharp and plasticky. And um, that imparts sort of a sharp plasticky tone on, um, on your guitar. And so when you strum, you're actually gonna sort of hear that sort of edginess of the pick. They wear down super easily. And um, the plastic that this is made out of, if your hands sweat at all, this gets very slippery and, hold on, and hard to hold on to. You'll find that um, the Tortex picks, the one by Dunlop, and no, I'm not sponsored by them, I just love these picks. Um, there's something about the material that they use that feels grippy. It almost has like a sort of invisible sort of powder coating that even when your hand sweats, the pick wants to stay still. And that's without any sort of texturing on it or anything like that. It's just a good feeling plastic. And more importantly, the edges of these picks are ever so slightly rounded um, so that they, they contact the strings in a way that produces a really nice sound. Um, which is a big deal. The beveling of the edge of the pick makes a big difference when it comes to the sound that you're getting out of your guitar. Okay, so when it comes to these three picks we've talked about, we have the 0.6, which is a little too light. We've got the yellow 0.73, which is useful for light strumming, but again, not enough push to really get good solo sounding, sounding hot. And then we have the 0.88, the Mecca, the great pick. Okay, it goes up from here. You can get into their higher line of picks, things like this, the Dunlop, I don't know, this has got a gator on it. Our uh, bass player likes these picks. This is a 1.14. So now we've gone way up over the scale. And now a pick like this can be useful for sure, especially if you're a flat picker, you're playing any kind of bluegrass or acoustic music where you want that guitar to project. Um, a thicker pick is going to give you more tone. It's also going to have a faster response and be able to sort of get the get the guitar ringing quickly and then playing notes fast without the pick sort of feeling like a wet noodle. You can still strum them. It's a nice guitar pick for an acoustic guitar, I'll say. Definitely awesome. Again, good beveling on these. The edges of these are a bit sharper than the um, than the other ones I was looking at for sure. But um, this is a nice guitar pick. I really like the Dunlop line of, of guitar picks. What a lot of people like is those picks that have a, a texture to them, a, a sort of a gritty sort of um, little bumps all over the pick. They say it helps them hold the pick. I don't find that they do. I think if you have proper pick technique, you're probably not gonna have that much trouble holding one of the ones without the bumps. They tend to be on sort of thinner picks with a sharp edge and aren't really my favorite, but again, try them out, see if you like them. Um, then we go on down the line and we get into um, some of the bigger picks. So if you guys aren't aware, there's a company out there called Blue Chip and Blue Chip is the Cadillac of guitar picks. These picks are ridiculous. They literally cost $35 and up for one of the guitar picks. Um, they'll often put your name engraved on it. You get a cool wooden box. Um, they are amazing. They are typically for bluegrass pickers. They come in a little bit more of a mandolin style pick like this. That's like three equal, like an equilateral triangle, although they have all different shapes and sizes. Um, and those come in really heavy gauges, like 1.5, 2, I think even thicker. And again, if you're a dedicated bluegrass player who wants loud projection out of your guitar pick, that's gonna be a great option. It's really gonna give you that boom out of your guitar. Um, but here's the thing about blue chip picks. If you're like me, you lose picks. I haven't kept a single guitar pick for more than like two weeks in my entire life. I don't know where they go. There's probably a graveyard of green Dunlop picks all over the place from the thousands that I've bought over the years. They shake out of the couch, they come out of the laundry. Um, they're everywhere. So when you spend $35 on a guitar pick, it's likely it's only gonna last for however long you get it. I apologize to all the people who have bought me awesome blue chip picks as presents. I admit I have probably lost all of them. Um, but that's the nature of the game. Uh, they do have a great tone. They do feel amazing. They're next level. I recommend you checking them out. Um, if you wanna get uh, a once in a lifetime pick, they make a great gift. Get the name engraved, blah, blah, blah. Okay. What you don't want to do is use a guitar pick like this. Look at this. It's got like chewed up edges and it's like not even in a flat shape. 
Um, this would sound awful on a guitar, it would feel awful. It's like 40 cents, I think, for one of these Dunlops. And the difference that it makes on your tone is huge. Um, you really want to have a guitar pick that feels good and makes the strings sound good. So all things considered, remember that the guitar pick has a huge impact on your overall tone, the feel of the guitar, and your volume when you play. If you're playing acoustic, you might consider a different one than an electric guitar. I think that you should try out all the different types of picks there are and see what works for you. Again, I like the .88 Dunlips. they sort of a jack of all trade. Nice backbone, not too heavy, it's a good pick. Tell me what you use in the comments. I'd like to know if there's something that I overlooked. Um, we haven't talked about finger picks either, which is a whole different video. Um, you know, banjo style picks, thumb picks, things like that. Um, and of course, a lot of folks like to play with their fingers and that's cool too, but this video is about guitar picks. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful and maybe it'll give you some insight into which guitar pick you pick. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel, The Alaska Music Show, for more content like this. See you guys next time.